He's sort of tired, but he's a lot playful. And um, he just keeps just smashing onto me. More than likely, this little guy was kept in a crate his entire life. He also hates the grass, which is something we're gonna have to get him used to because I don't think he's really ever walked on it. We weren't really sure if we could even keep him. The goal was just to get this dog healthy. We have three other pups. One of them is extremely reactive with other dogs. This is his first taste of peanut butter. He's been smelling it and he's been going crazy. Oh, you like that, buddy. It's on your nose. It was very evident that R2 was not allowed to be a normal puppy. This is the first time this guy has been walking on the grass without being totally freaked out. This is Lila, another rescue, the one I was actually worried about. Our reactive dog met him and fell in love instantly. It was insane. Look at these little puppy loves over here on the couch. Lila just loves R2. Look at her. She, loves she cannot stand it. I think she, she might have needed him. I think she did too. At times, he's been her emotional support animal. Lila, she has such a strong fear aggression with other dogs. A very unlikely friendship. Another reason I knew I couldn't give him up was he was just so attached to me. He latched on to me. And to me, there's nothing better than a Velcro dog. Some people might get annoyed with how they pester you, but I like it. I don't sleep as well because that dude is wedged into me. He was really super attached, probably a little bit on the unhealthy side initially. We just knew we had to keep him after that. This is how he lays with his arm around my arm. It's a heart melter. Obviously he doesn't want me to work today and it's obvious that I don't want to work today. I unfortunately have to work today. I just can't get over this fella. This is the part of the day where she tries to touch my brain with her tongue. What do you people without dogs do with all your personal space? <laughs> we have grandkids. One's four. I'm like, well, R2's getting bigger. I'm not sure how he's gonna react with the kids. He was so gentle, so soft with him. I do. Oh, he got it. <laughs> He did. We have rescued pups before, but never in a situation that was life or death. I think we have a special bond because of that. To think of how R2 started his life and how it's going these days just makes me happy.